God will take care of your enemies. Now that is the good news that God is a God of love and he will take care of your enemies. God takes care of his people. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 13, God said to his people, Israel and Moses, that the Egyptians that you have seen today, you will see them no more. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Now, when we pick up right here, Israel had been slaves to the Egyptians for years. And God had sent Moses to tell them to let my people go. But the Egyptians, they didn't want to listen. Pharaoh didn't want to listen. And so God sent plague upon plague upon plague until finally Pharaoh let them go. But then Pharaoh went after them. So as Pharaoh is continuing to go after them, Israel started getting fearful, murmuring. And then God spoke and said, the Egyptians that you have seen today, you will see them no more. Let's bring this up to our terms of what we're going through. The enemies that you have seen today, you will see those enemies no more. The people that have been persecuting you, talking about you, lying about you, trying to keep from promoting you, you will see them no more. Those people lying behind your back, talking bad about you, you will see them no more. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace because God will take care of your enemies. It's called the vengeance of the Lord. Psalm 75 says that God is the judge. So, don't think that God don't know and don't see all of what is going on behind the scenes. Don't think God is not aware of what people are saying and doing or trying, have been doing to you or saying to you or lying about you. God knows, God sees it all. And God is a God of love. So God will warn them, but if they refuse to stop, if they refuse to change, then God will take care of your enemies. And all you have to do is hold your peace. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will fight for you. Yes, you can pray for them because ultimately God wants them to change and God wants them saved. But if they don't, then God is not going to keep letting them harass you. The Bible says, touch not my prophets and do my anointed no harm. So God takes care of his people. That's a powerful verse. The Egyptians that you have seen today, you will see them no more. The enemies that you have seen today, you will see them no more. How long, how long have you been, been, been harassed? How long have you been going through something? How long have you been dealing with persecution? God is saying the enemies that you have seen today, you will see them no more. All the persecution is cut off from this point. Those that have been harassing you, it is cut off from this point. And if you read, you will see that the Red Sea was parted. God's people, Israel and Moses went through on dry ground. And when Pharaoh and the Egyptians tried to come after them, the Red Sea closed and swallowed them up and they were taken off the earth. So God kept his word that the enemies or the Egyptians that they had seen that day, that they would see them no more. God is a God of his word. God is a promise keeping, a covenant keeping God. God's word will not return void. So I just felt this in my spirit right now to just record this for some people because I feel that there are some people that will watch this video that are feeling frustrated, that are feeling at the end of their rope because of what other people have been doing to them or saying to them. But the thing is, is that you don't need to get revenge. God is a God of justice. God knows what's going on. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. 
So believe me, God knows what's going on. God knows who's coming against you. All you have to do is just continue to walk in love, continue to, to go forth in the things of God and the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. There's some other areas in the Bible of things like this that happens, but I just wanted to mainly focus on this one right now because this is what the Holy Spirit told me to focus on for this video. And that was Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. The Egyptians or the enemies that you have seen in the past or the seen today, you will see those enemies no more. Cut off from this moment forth. What you've been going through, you will go through no more. The heartache that you've been going through, you will go through no more. Staying up, worrying at night, feeling frustrated, feeling angry, feeling like you want to slap someone upside the head. You will go through it no more. The Egyptians, the enemies that you have seen today, you will see them no more from this moment forth. I'm cutting it off from this moment forth. It stops all the harassment, everything that you have been going through, the torment. It is cut off from this moment forth. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Glory to God. Is that not good news that we have the God of the universe that has said he will fight for us and all we have to do is hold our peace. All we have to do is walk in love. All we have to do is continue to do the things of God. And God is fighting our battles. God is fighting our battles. We don't even have to defend ourselves. God is defending us. We don't even have to fight our own battles. God is fighting our battles. Glory to God. The God of the universe is fighting for us. I don't know who this word is for, but I pray that this word has blessed you. And just remember, the Lord God is fighting your battles and all you have to do is just hold your peace. So right now, Father, I just pray for whoever watched this video. I pray for the peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray that you will keep their heart and minds through Christ Jesus. I pray, Father God, that this word will be sown on fertile soil in their hearts, that they will receive it, Father, that they will go forth with peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding, knowing and trusting in you, Lord, that you are the Lord, their God, that is keeping them, that is protecting them, that it, you are fighting their battles, that even right now, I pray that you are going before them and that you are making every crooked place straight. I pray that every moment of torment right now that has been coming against their life, every assignment of hell and the devil against their life, I break it right now in the name of Jesus. And I just decree and declare that from this moment forth, they will have peace, they will have joy. They will walk in the anointing and the things of God. I pray, Father God, that they know what is your perfect plan, your perfect will for their life, because you are the Lord our God that knows the plans that you have for their life, our plans for good and not for evil, to bring them to an expected end. So I pray, Father God, that they are on the plan that you have for their life, that their mission in this earth, that it cannot be stopped, that it cannot be ab aborted, Father God. But I thank you for the spirit of acceleration right Right now, Father God, that they are moving forth in the things of God. I pray right now that they have godly contacts around, that every need is met, Father, and that they are going forth, walking in their purpose, walking in their destiny. I decree that their gifts shall make room for them and bring them before great men and women. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.